And Nizam, thanks very much for joining us this afternoon. You, of course, are in Bloemfontein for the South African A side game against the England Saxons. But you, uh, of course, also have just started Ramadan, day two, you were saying earlier. And uh, just interested to know from our side how sportsmen like yourself uh, obviously manage to balance the demands of your profession with, you know, the, the demands of your faith. You know, obviously... Um, you know, the fasting, how does it, how does it work? Yes, Nick, first of all, thank you very much for having me. And to, to answer your question, it's quite tough, you know, obviously on my body, because I sort of have to manage it, especially when we have a double session. Um, I've been lucky enough because yesterday we had one session, and obviously this morning we had one session. So the afternoon for me is sort of where I can, you know, sort of relax, and that's where my body's not um, using too much uh, energy. So um, we've got a, obviously a game coming up on Friday night and for Ramadan started yesterday. So it's kind of a thing where I have to adapt very quickly. And um, I obviously choose to fast during the day. And um, what is important for me going forward is that I'm, I'm obviously going to wake up probably 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to have a protein check and have a liter or two of water. So that sort of balances um, what I've been losing during the, the morning and the afternoon. And um, obviously before half past five in the morning is the last meal I can have. So that's where, you know, I will put in a lot of uh, carbs and, you know, sort of just keep me where I can be, you know, suffice for the day. And then uh, before six again, I can have my meal. And um, throughout the evening, you know, I will take care of my body just to sort of maintain my weight. Uh, I've been through a, a phase or a stage in, in Ramadan where I lost uh, up to 12 kgs. So I'm not obviously looking to repeat that again. So um, I've, I've learned, I've, I've got experience. And it's also good uh, for the kids, you know, out there to, you know, sort of learn from me. Nizam, now, training is one thing, but playing a, a test match, playing a rugby game for 480 minutes is another in terms of the physical demand. So, I mean, how are you... Uh, going to manage that again, uh, I guess, this weekend? Um, luckily, the game is at 10 past 7. Um, you know, so I can sort of have something before that. But obviously, the night before, I'm going to do a lot of carb loading for some energy because I believe it's the best source for me. And, and I've, I've done it before on a normal day. And it just gives me, you know, a huge amount of energy. So the night before Thursday night is obviously a massive evening for me. Uh, I've got to drink a lot of uh, liquids and things like that. And throughout the day, obviously, I can't have any water or food. So it's going to be quite tough tough for me, but I've done it before. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, the sacrifice for me is, is, is more important than anything. And I mean, the reward will obviously be a greater one for me on the night, hopefully.